So my first question for you is, how did you begin your acting career? Um, I, good question. I am, um, my mom's an actress and my dad um, is like a producer. He was a stand up. So like, it was always kind of part of my life. Um, my mom mostly worked in theater. So I was like taken to the theater at a really young age uh, and just sort of exposed to it in that way. But I, I kind of like rebelled against it. Like I really didn't want to be an actor for a long time. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna be a human rights lawyer. Like that is what matters to me. And it got to, I think I was like cast as the lead in like a school play or something. And you know, like applause happens and you're just like, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll do this. <laughs> and for audience members who, part, who are not from the UK or not from England, what would you hope that they could learn about London from watching the show? Oh, um, I think, I think I like the idea that it's not like cutesy. A lot of like, I, I can tell that a lot of the drama that makes its way to the US, it's kind of, it's either kind of a period drama. So you get the sense that like it existed hundreds of years ago, but this is, it's a very modern city and everyone um, exists in a very real like way. And it, um, yeah, it's not kind of like all bows and rainbows and leprechauns and all of that kind of stuff. It's, you know, just real life. And what was your favorite part about filming? Um, I guess, I guess just getting the opportunity to like move away. Um, I mean, it was only Wales, like it was only, it wasn't too far away, but I guess just being in that environment for a full six months, you know, like unlike doing a film shoot or a theater piece, it's not like a short period of time. You really like live with this character and get to know her and everyone else for, you know, that six month period, that was really amazing. And what was your preparation process for the role of Yasmin? I guess um, Yasmin in a lot of ways is quite close to me. Like it wasn't like it was a huge jump, which almost make, made it kind of more important that on the nuances I kind of did make sure I pick up on the differences. Like she's from a very different kind of like, her family have a lot of money. She was given like a really amazing upbringing. So, I mean, just little things about accents and little things about making sure if I'm having a, rest a reference to like an amazing restaurant or all of that kind of thing, I feel really confident in the way that I'm speaking. Also, like there are a couple scenes where Yasmin has to say to kind of like, servers like no again like this isn't good enough and that was really hard to kind of not do with like a bit of like an apologetic smile like I'm really sorry they're a bit like no no like she doesn't care like and all of those kind of nuances that show the audience that actually Yasmin's from this world where sometimes like the little people don't really matter to her that was something that I really had to pick up on um, yeah, and also the languages, like speaking um, Spanish, speaking Arabic, speaking this jargon as well of like um, the finance jargon, all of those things are really important to me. And what was the greatest challenge with portraying Yasmin? <sighs> the greatest challenge? I think, I think making sure that I felt confident enough to um, really go there in the moments that she displays confidence because they're really important you know she's quite vulnerable in a lot of the parts of the show but one place that Yasmin feels really comfortable is when a man gives her attention she's really willing to kind of like take that and feel really like sexy and comfortable in her own skin and it was important for me to kind of make sure that I was doing her justice in that way. Like being able to put a young woman on screen who is totally confident when it comes to her body with someone like Robert, that was really important to not shy away from those moments, but meet them really like head on. And in what ways do you feel like industry differs from other finance movies or television shows that we've seen in the past? Definitely, I think the fact that it comes in from this perspective of the people at the bottom, you know, it's rather than you seeing it from, I think the, the amazing thing about industry is that like it proves that you can't say anymore like, oh, I'm really sorry, we can't do a diverse show like right now. It's about 
finance like you know finance as an industry if is like the one place where they could say like but it's majoritively like white men and the creators turn around and went like well no it's not you know let's go in from these people at the bottom and like follow their experience and i think that i'm really proud of being a sh in a show that that does that and with the show having diverse storylines and sort of them all intersecting what was it like being a part of this cast of people it was amazing i mean everyone is so confident was so confident coming in even though it was like you know our our first all of our kind of first experience or something like this and everyone from wherever like whatever their background was coming together and like finding this kind of confidence together and a shared responsibility to kind of push this for storyline forward like i said i'm so proud to be part of something that proves that you know you can you can create a storyline from any perspective in any world because we don't live in a homogenous society and these people do exist and their storylines are just as interesting, if not more complex than other people's. It was really amazing. And without using the language of misogyny or sexism, the show was really able to highlight the realities of women in the workplace. Mm -hmm. um, what was the greatest challenge for you and your co-stars with displaying those levels of tension and discomfort on screen? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I I think something that I found quite difficult when it came to, like, like you said, I mean, I think it was really important not to point at the issue. Like as women, we have to deal with these kind of microaggressions on a daily basis. And it the tendency when you see it written down and you're like, oh, this scene is a little bit about sexism in the workplace it's really easy to go to kind of point at it you know if ever kenny puts a hand on my shoulder or if kenny like asks me a slightly inappropriate question it's really easy as an actor to point at what's happening in that scene just kind of letting it be and letting the fact that this is normal unfortunately shine um i think was was a challenge but after a while was very much seemed like the right thing to do and with Harper and Yasmin, they're in the early stages of their careers. But we also see Daria, who's also in many ways being minimized due to her gender. Um, mm -hmm. Do you hope that watching this show could create a level of sisterhood, possibly for women who have experienced these things in these spaces? I hope so. Um, and I, more than anything, I hope that it feels like a natural representation of what it's like for women in the workplace, rather than just presenting it as a kind of like, you know, either women tearing each other down or sort of like sisterhood is the only option like the reality of you know sometimes you are pitted against each other and sometimes unfortunately still now there are only there's only room for a couple of people um and i hope people see that and recognize the truth in it and then and then yeah if, if it if it just so happens that they can walk away and feel empowered by it that's amazing but i just think it's, it was really important for the creators to to create an authentic storyline and have people take away from it what they what they want um just as long as you know they can resonate with it and with creating an authentic storyline, how do you feel like the show evolved from the script that you read to filming? Um, I mean, so much, especially episode one, you know, we, we shot it at the beginning and then we kind of came back to do a reshoot at the end because so many of our characters have developed. It was one of the amazing things about, you know, working on a new, a really new script that they really kind of molded the characters around us. So by the end, Yasmin was very different to how she started. And um, I think, yeah, I think that was a really, a really massive learning curve in how much a project can change if the creators and the actors are willing to be collaborative. It was really an amazing experience. And without giving away any spoilers, how do you feel like Yasmin evolves from the first episode to the ending? I think she becomes a bit more hungry. I think she realizes that, I think she learns from Harper that this system wasn't necessarily created for her. So rather than trying to kind of mold herself into it, she realizes that she kind of has to put her own stamp on her work in order to be noticed. 
Um, so I think she starts to try and do that further on in the series rather than getting the coffees and being a bit, a bit more submissive and getting a pass. She creates those opportunities for herself. And with Yasmin specifically, we see these moments where she's actually being harassed by her superior and a post Me Too Society. Do you hope this could help people really have these conversations online? I really hope so. Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's a really um, real, authentic portrayal of what it feels like to be kind of, you know, um, harassed in the workplace. It, it's, it, I think it's interesting. There's a moment where Kenny says, put a name on it. And I think that that is something that I really hope people see and hear and acknowledge because if you can't put a name on something, it's difficult to bring it to other people's attention. Um, that's the thing that I hope people get from this show in terms of that whole world that, you know, it's more difficult than being able to pinpoint exactly what's going on. And with Yasmin, we also see the dynamic between her and Robert. What was it like building that tension between your co-star? Um, it was, it was interesting. It was, I mean, we work now with kind of, you know, um, like sex coordinators type, intimacy coordinator type things. And, um, you know, there was a lot of work about when and where and how we can make, do all of that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still about that connection and it has to kind of work on the day. And Harry and I are great friends. We have a really great connection anyway. We make each other laugh. And I think that you, you get that kind of like flirty, like excited nature in the show. Um, really well I, I i mean you know it was it was fun it was a definitely a new experience for both of us and my final question for you is what do you think audiences will gain by watching industry i hope they gain um they gain an, an idea into what it's like for young people entering into any kind of industry you know the fact that you open doors and you're faced with the responsibility of the rest of your life. You have to make an impression now that's gonna last for the rest of your life. And I really hope people get to see how much weight and how much pressure that is for these young people, the ways in which they then deal with that and the ways in which their mentors abuse that power um, is where the like drama comes in. And you know, sometimes that's really fun and it's sexy and it's cool and sometimes it's really important and these are important lessons. I, I just hope everyone gets all of those things out of it.